Okay, so I am just going to show you how bad a Celeron is compared to a um, Pentium from 2007. So in this in the uh, here desktop, I have a Pentium dual core processor. So this thing is really fucking old, and I have Windows 11 on it. For matter of proof, obviously, we have um, Windows 11. Here we have an Intel Celeron Chromebox with a uh, Broadwell uh, Celeron. I hacked it from Windows 10, but it practically has the same hardware as some laptops also running the same processor. So, eh. Now, simple enough, everything is closed off. I'm just going to say start E and start counting. One, two. So, yeah, it wasn't too slow, but it took, like, literally three seconds to load and everything. And I'm on an M.2 SSD, obviously, because what else would fit in here? Um, not to make my house worse, I just closed on Edge. I'm just going to make sure to run a certain command to make sure it's actually fully shut down. Now, if it was running, then it's not anymore. Okay. So, it's not in the background. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, it's actually lagging. 11, 12, 13. Oh, wait, no, it was loaded that time. So it took 10 seconds. Oh, no, whoa, it's still loading. <laughs> yeah, there we go, there we go. Okay, let's try that somewhere else then. Okay, so mind you, if you were planning on uh, blaming hard drive speeds, yeah, no, they both have about the same speed. And both don't have the arm catch. Oh, that was all it took. <laughs> Celeron, just just don't ever use fucking Celeron. Fucking bullshit. Good fucking grief. Like the major difference. And mind you, that Chromebox that I just showed you, that thing is from 2015. And this desktop, I don't know for exactly from where it is because I don't seem to be able to find it anywhere. But except for the SSD that I put in it, this thing is practically stock. And this thing has... I do know that this thing is like from the very start, from the very early days of DDR3 memory. So that does without a doubt say how fucking terrible Celeron is. If a Pentium from the early two, from the late 2000s, to correct myself... Um, out outperforms it by such a huge margin. Even even though even though there's obviously a mobile versus desktop difference, then still there are tons and more than enough laptops and Chromebooks that can actually easily outperform this specific tower. So yeah, that kind of says a lot about how fucking terrible Celeron is. Just a little tip: don't ever, ever, ever. Use a fucking Celeron. Just, just, if you have the choice to buy an i5, just to put it like in, just naming the first example that comes to mind, that is not a Celeron. You have a chance to choose between an i5 from seven years ago and a Celeron from three years ago. You should go for the i5. Trust me. Because <laughs> Celeron, it's, oh my fucking god.